Fees for the Bills. It's worked for them. They bring a rush to the outside. Crossing pattern that is going to be deflected and intercepted. It'll be a pick six for the Buffalo Bills. Micah Hyde trots in motion in front of Mahomes, ready to take a shotgun snap. He fakes it. Throws it to the near side. It's tipped and intercepted by the Bills. Greg Rousseau. McKinn in the running back now. A bad snap to Mahomes. The ball is still loose. And the ball jumped on to Darius White and four takeaways tonight for the Buffalo Bills. Still got a long season left, um, but it's definitely this is one you're going to remember. Long season is right as we welcome in our Hall of Famer, Kurt Warner. All right, Kurt, your most surprising quarterbacks through the first five weeks of the season. Let's start with a guy who lost to both the teams in our TA game of the week, Patrick Mahomes. Well, MJ, I, I don't like to be negative here, but I usually have pretty high expectations for most quarterbacks. And you mentioned it, Patrick Mahomes. I think we all have high hopes for Patrick Mahomes. And here we see him six interceptions after five games. I mean, you look at the four years he's been starting. Only one time has he thrown more than six interceptions on the season. And so the fact that he's been a little careless with the football, trying to do too much instead of playing the game, really the big one of the biggest surprises for me at the quarterback spot this season. Number two, uh, I'm going to put Big Ben there. And, and again, surprised from the negative standpoint is that after last year, there was a lot of questions about him coming back from the arm injury. I really expected when he said I'm coming back for him to play at a high level, to see some of that Big Ben gunslinger mentality that we've come to expect from this future Hall of Famer. And we just haven't seen it. He's been struggling. Now, last week, we saw a couple of those Big Ben S throws. I'm hoping that parlays into more throughout the season, but it's been a really disappointing start for Big Ben in the Steelers. And then number one, we're definitely going to go on the positive side, and I'm going to go with Dak Prescott here. He is coming off the ankle injury, uh, all the questions going into training camp with the shoulder injury and not playing in preseason. A lot of people wondered, what, what are we going to get? What's it going to look like after signing the big contract? And he has been nothing short of incredible. I, you look at all the quarterbacks in the league. I believe Dak has seen the field, made the right decision, and been in more control more often than anybody else out there. It's been a great surprise for all of us. been a great surprise for Cowboy fans. And I'm excited to see what he can do the rest of the season. Yeah, Kurt, especially the conversations we had leading up to the season about Dak and what he would look like. He answered those questions forcefully and in the best possible way. All right, Kurt Warner, thank you.